There's a button in customer updates their own records, which is send to all, that in essence edits every record in a report. There is a special report in this application, and it's uh, I think it's query ID number five. Um, but if we looked at uh, reports, here here we are reports, mass emailer. Uh, this has a button on on it in the side that says email to this company, which in essence just triggers and updates the field over here and then refreshes the screen. But what do you do if you have a thousand of these and you want to be able to do this in a programmatic way? There's also this button over here that when you click on it, it opens up a dialog box that says, do you want to send everybody in this? Now you want to be sure that... Uh, the saved version of this report is saved with just the people that you want to be um, emailed. So I'm going to click on save, yes. And uh, so what it did was it refreshed the page and updated this field, this last email sent field, which resulted in an email being sent to me, which is great. But it did it on a one by one um, basis so that every one of the records in this report would get emailed. So let's take a look at the button. There is a um, button on the side here and it's really calling a script that's called page name trigger email update and you notice query number five. Okay so all this is is invoking this. Well what does this do? So let's go over to the, the home page, click on settings, and then look at pages. And down below here, you'll see trigger email update. And be, this is the story behind the story, the stuff that's in the background. Uh, and you'll see fields like the localized date time field modified, the last email sent. You'll see that it's invoking an email or a uh, API edit record. So uh, if if you're and then it refreshes the page. You'll see the dialog box is referenced down here uh, with the uh, the red color. Uh, so if you ever like to um, borrow from code like this, you'll notice it. Uh, it's referencing two other JavaScript libraries. Um, but uh, if, if you're interested in doing something like that, this is a possibility, else you're just using a manual button, and, uh, and this is pretty much just saying, I want to edit the record and then refresh the page. So that's a little bit of background on how you might handle the emailing functionality in ABC Customer Updates Their Own Records.